Hello and welcome. My name is Kara. This is a power bar class. You need some space and then some light dumbbells if you have them. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use, if you have little plates, weighted plates, or you can use uh, even canned goods or jars. So household items work great because uh, we're using a lot of light weights, high repetitions, but we're also going to get a little bit of cardio today since we're working on that power bar. So we're going to start heels under those hips and we're just going to shift our weight forward and back. We have a quick warm up and then we'll get moving right into it. Good. So we're just finding our center, shifting our weight. Good. And we're going to take a big inhale and lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Two more. Last one. Good, very nice. We're gonna take it to a turned out first position. So if you start with your feet together, you're gonna open up your toes just wherever they land. That is your first position. We're focusing on heels together, working on that turnout, squeezing the glutes and the core. We're just gonna plie, so bending the knees and then releve, come up on the toes. Plie and releve, good. Plie, knees are pressing out. And then when you're ready, take those arms out into a nice second position here. So your shoulders are down and back. Good. Warming up through those ankles, through the glutes, and we're gonna start to get that upper body as well. So let's take the arms up as we go up. Good, down, up, lift. Try to think spine is long. Good. Two more here. Last one. Good. We're going to take it to a turned out second position. So little step out, knees and toes stay turned out. And we're going to do some plies and releves here. Let's go down and then lift. Good. Down and up. Very nice. Keeping those arms out. That alone is going to warm up those back and shoulders. Two more, please. Last one. Good. Right arm up and over. So up and switch. So we're getting a little bend in the side of the body, reaching the arm long. Good. You can flow through it. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring those feet in. Single knee lift. Good. Just pull the shoulders back, palms out. We're lifting the knees up to about hip height. And then we're going to bring the arms up and elbow to knee. Let's go. Down. Down. Good. Opposite arm is leg. Warming up through the core. Slowly taking the heart rate up just a little bit. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer. We're going to move into our first set of work. This you don't need anything to start. We're going to take those feet wide, a little bit wider than our usual second position. And again, toes and knees are slightly turned out. Good. We're going to start with just regular squats. Hands can be on the hips, down by your side, whatever's comfortable. We go down and up. Very nice. So thinking straight down and up from the side looks like this. We're not getting super deep. We're just kind of taking it down and up, pushing through those heels to stand up. Good. Down and lift. Four more like this. Three, two, watch the change. It becomes a tondu. Squat and tondu down and up. So tandu means to stretch. We're stretching through that foot. And again, we're keeping our head really long, keeping the chest lifted. Good. So your one side, one quad should be starting to feel the burn a little bit here. We got four more, three, two, down and pulse. Let's go. Pulse. Pulse. Pressing those knees right over those toes. Good. Stay here. We got eight, seven, six, five, four. Watch the change. Check it out. Join me now. We go down and tap. 
So this time you're bringing your heel to your other heel. Down, tap, down, tap. Using your inner thigh to squeeze the leg in. Get supporting leg, quad and glutes are feeling it. Four, three, arms start to come out. Watch your change. Down and lift. Good, so we're coming to a passe, toe to your knee. And again, spine is long. We start to incorporate the upper body. You can stay here or we add a jump. Roll through the feet. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So, good news, you know what's coming. Bad news, you know what's coming. So we're gonna start again. Wide stance, chest up. Singles, let's go squat, down and up. All right, so legs are nice and warm now. Heart rate should be elevated a little bit. Good. Eight more here. Seven. Four. Three. Two. Next time, we add our tandu. Down and tap. Good. Point the toe. Extend the leg nice and long. Heel is lifted. Good, and try not to wobble over any weird way. We wanna stay long by bracing through those abs. Good. We got four more here. Three, two, down and pulse. Let's go, pulse, pulse. Oh, this is where we start to feel that burn. Keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five. Where do we go from here? Join me. Down and tap. Good. Bringing that heel to heel. Four more here. Three. Arms start to come out. And we take it up down, lift, good, toe to that knee, and try to turn that knee out, you can stay grounded, or a little power, down, lift, down, lift, two more, and rest. Ah, oh, very nice. Grab a drink if you need. We'll take a little bit of a recovery here. We're gonna move to the floor next. Again, you don't need anything for this sequence either. So we have a little plank sequence. We're gonna get the front part of the core. We'll get those obliques as well. So we're gonna start hands underneath the shoulders. Shoulders away from ears. Your option at any time, you can always come to the knees. So come to the toes first and just hold. You stay there, watch the change. When you're ready, join me. Knee comes in and extend it long. In, so it's a three-legged dog in yoga. And if it's too much for you, here's your option. Good, so you don't have to be on the toes, but you still work hard. Three more here. Good, two, and one. Good, come down and switch. Here we go, other leg in and extend, in and extend. Good, really thinking about keeping those hands underneath of those shoulders, keeping those hips square to the floor. And again, your choice if you need. Good, go ahead and give me two more here. 
whichever choice you're in. Last one. Good. Everybody come down, sit on back. Little stretch in child's pose. We are going to come to a side plank. So elbow is going to come underneath the shoulder. We're going to split the feet. So top leg is in front, bottom leg on the bottom. We're going to come up and hold. Good. Your choice here. One knee can be down. Our shoulders are nice and stacked. We'll stay here. And then of course we're going to pause. Let's go. Pause it up. Up. Good. Reaching the arm up. And again, choices if you need. We're halfway there. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Flip to the other side. All right, so shoulders are stacked, feet are split, up and hold to start. Let's go, hold. And again, your option. We just want to keep those hips lifted off the floor to engage those obliques, keeping those glutes engaged as well. Let's pulse it up. 16, 15, 15. Keep it up. 10 more, nine, try it on the toes if you can, and you can always come back, three, two, and one, good, come on down, flip back over into a plank, so we're coming back, again, shoulders away from ears, come up on the toes when you're ready, we start with a hold and a mountain climber, so we come in and out, in and out, we're crossing. Knee comes to the opposite elbow, keeping those shoulders down and back. Again, long spine from head to hips. Good. Tempo change, faster. In, out, in, out. Now faster. Eight, seven, six, four, Three, two, one. Ah, oh, sit back. All right, we're going to do one more set of both of those. So we're going to come back to that three-legged dog where we bring the knee in and extend it long. So reset. All right, so pick a leg, whichever one you want to start with. Come up on those toes when you're ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bring it in and hips up. Good, challenging the core, challenging the shoulders, and remember your choice. And last one here, and we'll go ahead and hold, switch sides, three, two, one, begin, in, and up. Four more, keep it up. Four, three, two, and one. Good, sit on back. Quick stretch in child's pose. Oh. All right, back to those side planks. Shoulders should be definitely feeling it now. So elbows, elbow underneath the shoulder, stack, split. Let's go, hold it up. And pulse, this time, double time, three. Good, little movement here. Think up, up, four. Three, two, one. Switch. Up and hold. Let's go. Hold it up. Pulse it. Two. Stay with it. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Flip on over again. 
one more set of those mountain climbers. So shake it out, come on down, flatten those hands into the floor. Three, two, one, come on in. Slow to start, in and out, in and out. And again, if this becomes too much, you can hold on the knees or you can do the same motion on the knees. Good, if you're just holding, try to come a little bit farther to challenge your core. Good, tempo change, speed it up. In, out, in, out. Now, double time, go, go. Eight, four, three, two, one. Awesome, sit on back. Ooh. Quick stretch. Awesome, come to standing. We're gonna grab those dumbbells now. All right, so you wanna light weight for this because we'll do a lot of pulsing and things like that. So, standing. We're gonna flip the palms facing forward. We have an alternating lunge with a bicep curl. So. From the side, I'll show you first. We're gonna take a nice long step back, lunge, and then curl. Lunge and curl. All right, in three, two, one, begin. Lunge, curl, good. So we're gonna lunge and curl at the same time. Big step back, drop your knee down, and keep those elbows in. Good, nice long stride here. Awesome, shoulders stay down and back. We wanna activate those biceps. Two more, just like this. Now step it back, down and pulse, both down, down. Good, so your elbows stay close to your body. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step, switch, pulse, go down, down. Pushing through that front heel, good. Eight, seven, six, five, and one, good. Step the feet, heels under those hips, shoulders down and back this time, palms facing front. We're gonna squat and curl. So squat and curl. So this time, we're facing forward, targeting a different part of that bicep. Down and lift. Good, let's speed it up. We go down and up, down and up. Good, so we're starting to play with that tempo change. We speed it up, but don't use momentum. Still using the strength in the upper body. Eight, seven, six, four. Now pulse it at the bottom, so stay down. Now come up, pulse, four, three, two, take it down for four, three, two, now take it up, four, three, two, one, again. So we're getting that top half, little movement there. Two more. Last one here, four, three, two, take it up, four, three, now back to singles, down and up, seven more, six, five, 
Awesome. Two and one. Good. Go ahead and release. Put the dumbbells down for now. We're going to turn to the side. We have a lunge squat combo. Check it out. Looks like this. We're going to lunge, squat, lunge, and stand. We're going to do the same leg. So take your right leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, squat, lunge, stand. Lunge, squat. So we're using those arms, activating the back and shoulders. Good. Tap, tap, tap. So that back foot's heel stays lifted as you rotate. Let's start to challenge our balance. In. With the knee lift. Lift it up. One more here. Hold here, hinge forward and balance. Good. Supporting leg is slightly bent. Extend long and come up. Good. Let's get the other side. All right, here. Left leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tap, open, and in. Good. So remember, we're pressing those knees out, dropping the hips down. When you're ready, add the lift. Toe to that knee down. Are you getting low in that lunge? Dropping the knee almost to the floor. Give me one more here and then hold it. Now hinge forward, hip square, back flat. Hold it. Three, two, one, stand up. Awesome, grab a drink. All right, so we have one more little circuit here to finish us out. Grab your dumbbells, one or two. We're gonna come to that first position. So, toes together, open up. Good. Now, if you're using both, you're going to take your dumbbells and put them together over the head. If you're using one, you're going to hold it from the side. We have tricep extensions here, or if you're looking for heavier weight, you're here. Okay? We're going to start with some plies, some releves, and tricep extensions. So, together, let's plie, plie, and then releve. Plie, releve. Good, keeping the spine long. Good. Elbows stay in. We add on. Tricep extension on the way down and up. Good, so we're really gonna burn out the triceps with this circuit. Down, up, up, and down. Good. Try to keep those dumbbells together. And hold, pulse it down, 16. Keep it up, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Awesome, dumbbells down. Right leg's gonna step to a side lunge with a little jump. So check it out. We go side lunge and jump. When you're ready, three, two, one, right leg. Throw it away, lift it up. Throw it away, lift it up. 
Good, so you're stepping out, dropping low, and then thinking, lifting tall. Good, keep it up. If you don't wanna jump. Two more. Rest, switch legs. Three, two, one, go. Keep it up. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. Let's do that one more round. Grab your dumbbells. I'll show you with one this time. Back to that first position. Proud chest. Here we go. We start with singles. Plie and releve. Down, up, lift, up. All about the control here. Now we add it both ways. Down, up, and up, down. Good, keeping those elbows in. Frame your face with your upper body. Whew. Last one. Pulse it out. 16, 15. Come on, you got it. Keep your back straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. How are those triceps feeling? All right, last set, lunge and lift. Three, two, one, go. Down and up. Four, three, good, switch, three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew, very nice. Grab a drink if you need. We're going to take it to a quick little cool down and get you on your way. So come on back. We'll go to a nice wide second position. Take a nice shoulder roll. Up, back, and down. Good, now come on down, press those knees out, get a nice stretch in those inner thighs, and then drop a shoulder and switch. Good, now go ahead and straighten the legs, reach down to the floor, hips are lifted, getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Good, just releasing here. Go ahead and slowly roll it up. Awesome. Turn that toe out, bend the knee, lift, come down to a lunge. Good, so your heel is underneath the knee. Option, you can drop that back knee. Now we'll take that arm, twist over that leg. Good, come on down, step it in. We'll switch sides, other leg, step it long. Again, heel stays underneath the knee to protect that knee. Option is here, getting a nice hip flexor stretch. And now let's twist. Good, coming down, step it in, take a nice little forward fold. Just let the arms hang, you can slightly bend the knees. Go ahead and roll it up. We'll take an arm across. Give it a nice gentle tug. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Hope you have a great rest of your day. Awesome. All right, everybody, great work today. I hope to see you soon.